In this video, we will be demonstrating how to use a waterless filter paper blood lead test kit. Washington State Medicaid requires that all children from 12 to 24 months be screened for lead toxicity, regardless of their lead exposure risk. Along with this, children between the ages of 36 to 72 months must receive screening if they have not previously been tested. Blood lead testing is the only acceptable laboratory test for screening and confirming lead poisoning. Venipuncture is preferred for specimen collection, but finger stick collection is acceptable if care is taken to properly clean and prepare the finger. Capillary samples are easier to contaminate because of the possibility of lead-containing dust or dirt on the hand or under the fingernails. Children with capillary specimens testing 5 micrograms per deciliter or higher on a point-of-care test should undergo confirmatory testing, ideally with a venous specimen. Remove the supplies for the kit and organize them on a clean surface. Partially remove the filter paper from the plastic bag, just enough to write the required lab information. Do not remove the entire card from the plastic bag. Wearing gloves, cleanse around the finger stick area with the appropriate cleanser. Remove soapy residue from the finger with the large unsealed gauze pad. Wipe the area with a specific lead and heavy metal cleaning wipe that is designed to remove surface skin contaminants. This is a crucial step in the testing process. Disinfect the finger stick area with alcohol and dry with gauze. Remove the filter paper card from the plastic bag. Use the lancet to stick the cleansed finger. Hold the finger above the filter paper. Allow the first drop to fall on the first dotted circle. Allow the second drop to fall on the second dotted circle. A third dot could be collected if the first two are questionable. Gently cover the filter paper card with the second paper towel like a tent. Allow the blood spots to dry. A color change from bright red to reddish brown indicates that the blood spot is dry. While holding the patient's name area on the card, reinsert the dry card into the plastic bag. Insert the blood spot side first and then seal the bag. Retain the yellow copy of the lab form for your records. Attach the sealed plastic bag to the lab form and insert the bag into the prepaid envelope. As many as five lab forms and blood samples can be sent in the same envelope. Each test kit contains detailed instructions that may vary according to manufacturer.